wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just... I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no wait, I just remembered. <laughs> I just had it in my pocket. You might as well take that too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell! His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? There's nothing left of him. Oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure. Better to die than to live like this. I've never agreed more, Shepard. It's what I would want. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone. This store discriminates against the poor. Uh, please, calm down. As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, enjoy your shopping. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. One time we were trying to clear out this gun nest outside a base on Veta. Nothing we did even made a dent in that thing. Someone had the bright idea to kidnap a local girl, strap grenades on her and make her go seduce the guy in the bunker. Terrible thing, I tell you. Well, she went up there, knocked on the door and nothing. Grenades never went off, but the guy stopped shooting and we snuck by. Never found out what happened. You smoke, Shepard? Don't. That stuff will kill you. Your kid once, weapons dealer, probably half your age. Bastard smoked too close to a cache of explosives. Tossed a butt, blew himself sky high. the assassin is and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You got two ways down, express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my... How about goodbye? Harsh, but I guess...
as he had it coming. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Force trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have he not... He hasn't been... reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. Pitney will pick money over friends every time. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasaya, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me! We should have stopped him, Shepard. Nice work! Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want... <laughs> No reproduction, just cloning. Technology overriding biology, not augmenting. No art, no culture. Closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed it. Enjoyed anymore. challenge. Saw necessity. Hard to care about two armies. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let you down. What is it about? Disrupts. Can't carry. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. You blame the Salarians yes. for what? Krogan. Instead, Salarians came. Disrupted. You feel that way. Talked Why before. You? Best if around during first contact would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. You said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. Who the hell are you two?
My name's Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Prove it. I don't have to prove anything. Spectres are above the law. We clear? Crystal. Good. Now fortunately, I'm not after you. You contracted an assassin. Who's the target? Joram Talid. A Turian. He's running for office. He lives in the 800 blocks. Thanks. You won't see us again. No offense, but you're a problem below my pay grade. That may go down in history as the shortest interrogation ever. All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. This is where it starts. We're just all organic batteries. Guess who they'll blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quip Quip. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. You didn't waste much time declaring us dead. Go get your ship. We apologize, Shepard. Your success in taking back the Alarai is... very unexpected. But also very welcome. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally's achievements are the only evidence you should need. Come on, Tally. We're leaving. What? This is a formal proceeding! Wrong, Admiral. This is a sham. You're trying to build sympathy for the Geth to forestall the war effort. <laughs> that is completely... And you want all the messy experiments covered up so you can throw your fleet at the Geth. Uh, I... Do whatever you want with your toy ships, but leave my crew out of your political bullshit. We have no new evidence. You can accept Tally's word, or you can exile the woman who saved the Citadel from the Geth. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tally Zora. In light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. You go beyond yourself, Gatatagu Vank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. I'm not fighting over this nonsense. Grunt's ready. Let's get to it. I like your dismissal of our rituals even less than Uvank's challenges. And my word determines whether a right will proceed. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Grant stands against him. He has no one. <sighs> My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Krant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? Grunt will strengthen Clan Erdnot. 
Name our target and it will die. Spoken well. Most aliens, and some Krogan, do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. You... You dare. <laughs> I like this human. She understands. I withdraw my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. Commander Shepard! Commander Shepard! Kalisa bent seen in Al Jelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best- I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Not this time, you mill- uh! You're angry, I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth. Not answer your questions. Stay down. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Say anything to save your skin. I, I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Inexplicably. I think he'd agree now that it was the biggest mistake of his life. But this is murder. That's right. Cold blooded murder. No less than you deserve. Clean up this mess. Shepard, I never thought I'd enjoy having a partner. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. The Normandy could extract us. The same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. It looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater has a corroded, it should be good to go. I'm game. We chase Leviathan this far to finish this. It's a long ways down. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hear you. The time's wasting. Shepard, perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. Are we seriously proposing? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? It appears we are. These old Ballard class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. 
This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. If they start backtracking, the angry Krogan act couldn't hurt. Who said anything about acting? Just try to keep it verbal. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this day. A lifetime. I appreciate the assist, Garrus. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. He wouldn't be king then, would he? Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun... Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex? No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? insult to the Alliance. These understand. No matter what some politician might say, Krogan are still considered a hostile race. I wonder why. However, on behalf of the Salarian Union, I apologize. But we must insist the Krogan remain under guard. <clears throat> and if we insist otherwise... You'll have another war on your hands. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! Brings back memories. They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. I know I said to act the angry Krogan, Rex. That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. It fit right in. We tipped you off about the females here. Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> he is correct. It was a delicacy in our cycle. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. Radioactive. Ha 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 ha, Garrus. I have to make friends with the one Turian in the galaxy who thinks he's funny. Imagine how I feel. I'm supposed to hate Krogan, but you came along and warmed my heart with your winning personality. I could throw a few Solarians off a cliff, if it'll make you feel better. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn Pijaks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. 
We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> Just wait till this war is over. Been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirihi. I'd heard you were coming. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. Good to see a friendly face, Major. Garrus Vicarian. Always a pleasure. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. Security seems high. You expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. A good principle to live by. Who's this? He's a friend. A Prothean. Prothean? Of course. Amazing what they can do with genetic modification these days. Some new psychological tactic, Commander? Give the Reapers a good scare? And what are you really? Drell? Turian? Prothean. Oh. I see. Please don't touch that. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Really? You must stop touching that. Please no. Once more, the Salarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine, if you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzer. We've already been down that road. No more. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Shepard, it's Rex. Cerberus troops are attacking the base. Get the females out of there now! Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. Now, please release Krogan. Need to monitor pod as it fits quarantine procedures. you out of there. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. Enough about me. What were you doing before we met up here? Oh, you know, this and that. Come on. Spill it to Sony. Very well. 
I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean Doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. <laughs> yeah, so just this and that, huh? Hello, Shepard. Turians on a secret mission to Tachanka, huh? No one told me anything about it. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tachanka plays out. I don't suppose ignoring it is an option. Hello, Shepard. Not right now. So, Archangel. You heard about that, huh? Your sojourn on Omega generated quite a few articles, not to mention security footage. There's one thing I couldn't dig up, though. Did you really take out three Blue Suns mercenaries with one bullet? No, of course not. The third guy had a heart attack. Not fair to count him. I'll assume you didn't know about this. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. Honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rex out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing, now, but ingenious back then. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now you're on shore leave. Everybody knows you can't dance. Where's Korlock? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. You should have gone to C-Sec if your life was in danger. And be thrown into prison? No. The things they would do to me after the damage I caused. What intel did you give Cerberus on this colony? Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But, if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. All right. I tried playing nice. Maybe my friend can get you to see reason. Now wait just a moment. You mind, Zaid? It'll be a goddamn pleasure. I'll leave you to it. It'll be a while before anyone shows up for him. It's Aphis. Cerberus will attack a colony called Aphis for its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Take it. It's all yours, I promise. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. Their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. 
every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. Samara is the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. Another time, maybe. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. Actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Don't ah uh, me. You sound like a forger. Seeing a bit of yourself in Miranda fighting her father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. <laughs> it's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kill us a lie. Stay there! I'm coming! Joker! Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it! Got one, sir! Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Hey! Mm. Oh. You used me as bait? Go! You used me as bait? Having a bad day, Shepard? 
You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I like your outfit. A uh, control panel, right. Stand back. One moment. Hello. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. When this is over and everything is settled, we are going to talk about this bait thing. What's up, Commander? Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner, and then you broke their floor. Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. Hey. The Normandy's nice, but for unwinding after a mission, you can't get better than this. Observation Lounge needs a hot tub. Hey, Shepard. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Hello, Shepard. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. Thought we were done with all the shooting on the Citadel after Cerberus messed the place up. They must want you bad, Shepard. Price of fame, I guess. Shepard? So, what was it, Shepard, five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window. How's it going? I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? Any life or death encounters with fish aquariums this time? No? Mm, too bad. I can hear Vega's stomach rumbling from here. I look ridiculous. Think of it like camouflage. You don't want to scare the prey. Then we need to find bigger prey. Okay, this is good. Everyone looks at the Krogan, nobody looks at me. Ceremonial outfit could use some armor. Mine fits the dress code. 
I still think we should have gotten you an old school tuxedo. It would be of no use. If people know what I am, the clothes will not matter. I was mostly thinking of the entertainment value. Okay, they'll be looking at the Prothean and not me. That's good. That's the point. Looking good, Shepard. I did the best I could without a carapace or a crest. I'd say you managed. You know, I shaved my legs for this. I even put concealer over where I got shot. Just smile and wave, Brooks. You're looking good. As good as I get, given this face. No, it's good. Everyone will be looking at you two instead of me. That's good, right? Shepard looking just about perfect. What, my face isn't perfect? Wouldn't change it for the world, or the case may be, the galaxy. <clears throat> Plus, everyone will be so busy looking at you, I can just, um, do what I do. Right? Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they gave you what you wanted. Next time, I will gladly assist. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. How come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. And the camaraderie, the friendship? I think that's your secret weapon. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Thought so. Oh, so we Elijah, can... Elijah, come crawling back? Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. Name a time and a place. Or you could hide behind voice disguises for the rest of your life. You're trying to rattle me so I slip up. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Bring a bigger hammer. Your last try was inadequate. I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. That's enough! Drop your weapons, or this won't end well for her. You bitch. All right. Uh, ah. Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. So that's how it's gonna be. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm looking forward to killing myself. I guess ominous threats of violence run in our DNA, but mine is more than a threat. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today.
That's why I love hanging out with you guys. Why shoot something once when you can shoot it 46 more times? Year 2183 CE. First Human Spectre Deliberations. Vault SH-1. Commander Shepard's recent accomplishments are not in question. It's her background that the Council has no knowledge of. Shepard was born on Earth and orphaned in an early age. She managed to survive on the streets until she was able to enlist at 18. Anything from Shepard's military record that you'd like to call out? The Alliance considers Shepard their go-to soldier that gets the job done no matter the cost. Ruthless, calculating, and brutal. Thank you for your presentation and to all who spoke. The Council will render their decision on the suitability of Commander Shepard as Spectre within the day. What's your status? The other you is jamming our radios. Hammerhead and Mako are trying to get ahead and cut her off. But I've been hit and need help. Please hurry. This is unexpected. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? I don't see one. Cortez! Brooks! Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for... well, forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. How typical of primitives. Who the hell are you? And do you really think I won't track you down? My name doesn't matter. I never keep the same one for more than a few days. And if the elusive man hasn't found me yet, you never will. Your Cerberus? Was. Mr. Elusive and I didn't see eye to eye. He is indoctrinated, whereas I prefer the whispers in my head to be my own. Why not come to me? We could have worked together. In a way, we did. I'm the one who put together all those dossiers on your suicide mission. The Collector Base? There was the Salarian Doctor, the Asari Justicar, the Drell. They were all mistakes. We were a pro-human group who started looking to aliens for help. So I bided my time. And when I found another you who agreed, I woke her up. What was the point of it all? All we really wanted was your Spectre Code. I got Shepard. Spectre access accepted. But then you survived the hit and insisted on bringing your damned Asari into it. So I had to tie up loose ends. The arms dealer. Elijah, it's me. We need to talk. What the hell's going on? I swear if those guns get tracked back to me... They won't. But then your sex bot just had to go and recover the data. So here we are forced to contain the situation. The minute, the second I get out of here, I'm gonna take your head and mount it in the Normandy CIC. Then I'm gonna mount her head next to yours. Then I'm gonna take both your heads and space them out the airlock. Finally. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda, I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human specter, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. 
Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. And all I've seen you do is end lives. You're gonna make a lousy me. <laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it its shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard, human specter. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, uh... I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? She said I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. I am more concerned with the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside. Once was enough for me. I'm more confident than she is, more in control. With me, it's more like, that's all for now. Spoken like a Krogan. Show who's boss. It is doubtful we have much air left, an hour at most. Sometimes I'll talk to you later. Because, you know what, I never do. I even want more. I should... Commander, why aren't you more concerned about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me. What? I had hoped to come along. I hear ya. Never seem to get picked. Joker will come back for you, I promise. And I don't even... Wait. What? You were just on the Normandy, you... You fired me! Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming! You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. I can't fire you without a disciplinary hearing trainer. And really? The first thing you grab is your toothbrush? It's a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect fields to break up plaque. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you... A, a clone. On when you serve on the Normandy long enough, you get used to things like this. I can explain more later. For now... <clears throat> ah, it's sealed. No time to cut through. They're about to leave. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. I need another way onto the ship and I need it fast. There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right... here. Manual lock, and it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? Hell if I know. If you could do fine-tuning with biotics, maybe you could trip it with a mass effect field. What? If you told me this morning that a toothbrush was going to save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. Hey, Shepard. Reimburse Trainer for her toothbrush. Later. Remind me later. A little cramped in here. Quiet. And risk them hearing us up top. Uh,
ship is not an appropriate... Oh, ho, ho. that is not okay. You've been practicing with that shotgun. Still remember the fast reloading trick I showed you? You know, I've taken care of myself for the past few years. I know. I'm old and I worry. Even though my favorite quarian's all grown up and killing reapers. You're like the crazy headbutting uncle I've never had. Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus, they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but shuttle guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about Edie? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give them some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Until you escape. Me? Escape? But I'm not a field agent. Stop. Just stop. You betrayed me and the Alliance in the middle of a war. I was young and naive. Admit it, Commander. You'll miss me. Not at this range, I won't. Uh, maintenance to the shuttle bay? Enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shep, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? 
it exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I'd describe it as engaging rather than dangerous. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Do the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. Ah, you die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed all- Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign. Saren. You might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Protean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Oh, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. You know what, Blasto? I think you're just a big, stupid jellyfish. How did you become a Spectre? I am not just a Spectre. I am an Ultra Spectre Elite 7000 Deluxe, now with less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. Then cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you'll die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Vorcha Scum. Prepare for death. 
This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the sound. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the Genophage. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Caesar. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Specialist. Commander. Kick her ass. Roger that. Incentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. I'd expect the Great Thinkers to be helping with the Asari war effort. I mean, Earth was taken by surprise, but Thessia... You had all the warning in the world and the Reapers just rolled in. Excuse me, I'm trying to play. You're trash-talking. That's another strategy that doesn't work on the Reapers. It didn't work on the Rachni either. Or the Krogan. Have the Asari ever won a war? The Asari have a culture that was exploring space while you were using stone-tipped spears. I think you're supposed to hit the button there when your turn is done. I'm sorry, Tassuza. This might sting a bit. again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. So what? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? Calling Izo. Izo? <laughs> yeah, he's from Thessia. Naturally biotic from all the element zero. Their biotics make them short-tempered, so a lot of them get abused or abandoned. Can you imagine someone doing that? I found him at a rescue place. I'm trying to teach him that it's okay to trust people. He started out really angry, but I've been giving him lots of love, and now he's a big old softy. What? You're aware of the parallels here, right? What the hell are you talking about, Shepard? Mistreated biotic, the... No? Never mind, forget I said anything. Yeah. <laughs> Who's my badass biotic? Mm. Who's my badass biotic? <laughs> Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander.
So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. Miss Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, ma'am. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. I understand you getting out of there. Can't stand hospitals either. Yeah, full of sick people. Right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah, when CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. Can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right, sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry, bought some noodles. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> I love you, Grunt. <laughs> Perfect. Thought we might try an evening out. Hey, you've picked a good spot to unwind. Any ideas? A few. I'll probably need a bit of a push. A push? I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? I don't know. Um, maybe we can talk about regular stuff. No evil clones, no picking time bombs, just talk. Regular stuff? Okay. Like shoes or something? <laughs> sure. Uh, we're not really girly girls, are we? <laughs> no. We can't pretend to be anything other than troubleshooting space divas. You know, that does sound pretty cool. It does. Alright, let's quit worrying and just enjoy ourselves. At least till we run out of credits. Right. Need more wine. Now you're talking. Waiter, space diva needs more wine. Oh god. I'm gonna regret this. We're a couple of girls out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. <laughs> oh. oh! We were just, uh... I, I, well, I, I just, uh, I came to say goodbye and, well... 
Uh, I uh, think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. It might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Well, you know, because of infection risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. So... Yeah. I'm really happy for you. Both of you. Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. What do you mean to come back to? This is just a fling, Bakarian. I'm using you for your body. You're so mean. And I'm okay with that. At least we finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. I just hope we get to do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. The Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a Reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. And now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the Reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wonder about. Heal us alive, Shepard. Not right now. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. One way or another, this war ends today. There will be no second chances and no room for mistakes. Each of you needs to be willing to die to win the day. Anything less, and you're already dead. Expect no mercy. Show no mercy. You fight. Or you die. Get to the med bay. No! I'm... Uh, I'm with you to the end. That's an order, Major.
Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. Thank you, earned a rest. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, child. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson. Thank you.
all of us, synthetic and organic, have been changed. The war is over, and the Reapers are helping to rebuild. Where once they threatened us with extinction, they now bring us the collective knowledge of the cultures that came before. As a galaxy, we can now live the lives we have wished for. Taking our first steps into a new and wonderful future, where organics and synthetics can coexist peacefully. With peace across the galaxy and with unlimited access to knowledge, to recover the greatness that was lost. and surpass it. We will reclaim our worlds and the stars as the line between synthetic and organic disappears. We may transcend mortality itself to reach a level of existence I cannot even imagine. And we will remember that this chance for a new life did not come without cost. No matter how far we advance, we will remember the sacrifices of those who made it possible. And we will remember Shepard. Because of her, I am alive. And I am not alone.